while I'm back in here where I was at the other morning I just now stopped sweating after walking in it's like 87 88 it's hot but I pulled my card on the way in and I just got through going through the pictures and both of my target bucks have been in here in the daylight the last two or three days two or three times a day so the little luck one of them will slip through here tonight hopefully not catch my wind but if he gets in here and gives me a shot stay tuned see what happens That's my no that's my number one target buck this summer. This is the second time I've had him in bow range. And I think I just heart shot him. I'm not sure I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video. I'm pretty sure he just ran about 60 yards and stopped up there. I'm pumped. I hope that was a hard shot. He should be down right there. It's only like 4.30. I've been in the stand 45 minutes. Had a doe and a fawn come in and bust me sitting up. 
and not sit here an hour. And here he comes. It's hot as can be. Comes right into 30 yards. Oh, I hope I smoked him. Well, as you can see, he got up and walked down that fence row a little bit, but I heard him staggering around over there. It's got me a little concerned about the shot that he got up and walked a little bit, but I've still got probably three hours before dark, so we'll give him an hour or two. Hopefully go right down there and he'll be laying right there. I watched the video, it looks like a perfect heart shot, just tight to that front leg. Fingers crossed. Left my phone in the truck, I can't even call nobody. So I don't know, I'm just gonna sit here for a little while. And get down and hopefully recover him. It's hot, so hopefully he doesn't try to go very far and he'll bed down. And he should die if he beds down for a little while. I don't know, 30 yards. I put my 30 yard pin right on his heart. And I think we got him, but we'll see. All right, guys. This is the first year I've ever hunted this reduction zone. And I am sweating like crazy. But it's a good thing I don't have to come back in here for a while. Because he's laying right there. I didn't film anything. I climbed down, gave him about 30, 45 minutes, climbed down, snuck over and found my arrow. And there was not very much blood. I heard him come up here and thought he crashed. So I circled around, hoping that if I jumped him, I'd get a shot at him running out into this field. But he's laying dead right there. beautiful 10 pointer I've got a ton of velvet pictures of this deer and then he disappeared for about three weeks showed back up hard horn and he's just a beautiful 10 couldn't be any happier let's go get my hands on him get the truck over here load him up and go show everybody Here he is guys, I've got a ton of pictures of this deer. This is the first nice buck I've been able to get pictures of, pattern, and kill. I couldn't be any happier. Beautiful early season cape. All right, I got him drug out. Got some help to film a better recovery here. Got him propped up. He went about, I don't know, maybe 80 yards total and piled up. The shot was a little lower than I would have liked, but pretty sure it cut his heart. And either way, I was lucky enough to get him. Got my early season buck down. Now it's time to run cameras hard and find a giant for later on in the season. Couldn't be any happier, man. I got a bunch of pictures of this deer. He'd been coming in just like he was supposed to. I filmed him opening morning. Had him at 10 yards. I just had to fill a doe tag before I could get him. 
Left him alone for a few days. Killed my doe. Got in here. He came in just like he was supposed to. Couldn't ask for more.